The co-lead Hoover Multiverse is coming. So we have an official theatrical release date for It Ends With Us, which is coming out August 9th in theaters. They did just release some images from the film, which we'll take a look at. There's also a movie adaption of Verity coming as well, which we'll discuss in this video today. First, let's talk about It Ends With Us. If you've forgotten what It Ends With Us is about, the book tells the story of Lily, a fresh college graduate who has moved to a new city and meets and falls in love with a man named Ryle. As the two continue to get closer, Lily's first love becomes back into her life and throws a wrench in the new one she's creating. Why don't we go and check out these new images? Trailer has to come soon because August 9th isn't that far away. Yeah, it's pretty soon, so I think we'll get one soonish. So we've both read It Ends With Us, so we know what the story is about. So this is the first picture we've got here, which is of Blake Lively and Justin Baldoni. He plays Ryle she plays Lily. I don't know if he's apologizing mm -hmm. for something. If you've read the book yourself, you know that stuff does happen in the book. I don't want to give too much away if you haven't read the book. So maybe here it looks like they're reconciling in some way or having a heated argument. And now it's like they've come mm -hmm. together here. As someone who's read the book, it could be a number of moments. I can't think of one specific thing that it might be. It does look there has been some emotions happening. Definitely an emotional scene happening here. It looks, it looks good though. This picture looks really, mm, really yeah. nice. Blake Lively looks very young here. Yeah, she seems to not age. People <laughs> are complaining that they aged up the characters. Mm -hmm. so that's been a polarizing view, but I think it was probably best to age up the characters in, in my opinion. I don't like to criticize the movie before I've actually seen the movie. I mean, in a lot of adaptations that age up the characters, like it's not a new thing. I feel like for this, I think it'll be fine. But it yes. looks like here, Ryle and Lily are in their honeymoon stage karaoke. I don't yeah. remember there being karaoke in the novel. Me either. But, but it's cute, isn't it? Maybe karaoke. it's a montage of like... Yeah, true. Happy or something. Right, this, we've got a picture of Justin Baldoni as Ryle. Looks like they're in his home. Yes. He's looking a bit disheveled. His expression is very hard mm. to tell what's exactly happened here because he's got a little yeah. bit of Burke. Yeah, it looks rich. Yeah. So I would say it looks rich. Probably his home. <laughs> People thought that they should have swapped the two guys around. That he should have been playing Atlas and the other guy mm. should be playing Ryle. I feel like I do see him as Ryle. Have you seen Jade the Virgin with him? In I've it? seen the first season. So he can play the asshole and he can play yes. the romantic. I agree. So here we have a picture of Jenny Slate and Blake Lively who <laughs> have a friendship in the novel. So Jenny Slate is the sister of Ryle's character and she helps Lily out in her flower shop here and I'm mm -hmm. digging the vibes. Yeah, it's like the steampunk vibes. I think it looks yeah. very And yes. Jenny Slate is perfect for the role. Yeah, I agree. What do we think of Blake Lively's t-shirt or shirt going on here? Because one of the other big things that people were complaining about is the yes. fashion that Blake Lively yes. is put in. It's fine. Like maybe it's just like a shirt she's thrown over her clothes because she's working, you know? <laughs> I think because they've aged up the characters i'd find it weird if they did wear kind of the cute yeah. florally dresses so yes. i feel like the younger lily will be in those types of clothes oh, for sure, that yeah. people are what you know like lively to be in but i don't think yeah. it would match blake lively i feel like we just have to wait and until see we actually see the movie well here's another shot she's in like a, a jumpsuit uh mm. kind of overalls i think she looks great yeah, she does look good. But like, I remember this being, I think people saw another angle of this and didn't like it. I think we have to also remember that on film, it, it looks different from taking pictures just yes. candid. They like do color grading, but it stands out more on film. You want your actors to stand out from a crowd of people as well. Mm -hmm. So I think costuming plays a big part of the film. Okay, here we have Atlas and Blake Lively. Now, Atlas we know is a chef in the book and she goes to his restaurant. What do we think of this shot and not at all what I pictured Atlas to look like, especially with this like mm. mo going on? I'm not yeah. a fan of the mo, but yeah. you know, it does give him a bit of a country country yes. boy, you know, 
vibes, I think, is what they were going for. Yeah, that does make sense because that does kind of contrast Ryle. And when I when the casting came out, he was like the only actor that I actually hadn't seen before. Like I I knew all the other actors. But again, I'm also you know I don't like to judge anything before I see it because I don't really care that much about the, the actual looks. looks because I've seen so many adaptations where they look physically exactly how I imagine them then the acting is just not is not yeah, right. You prefer the acting to be better than the looks yes. to be exactly correct. Yeah. <laughs> See the shirt she's wearing? Is that the same one in this photo? Maybe. I think it is. Mm, so I think maybe that might be the scene that they she sees Atlas for the first time coming to the restaurant uh-huh. and he's a bit jealous or like and yeah. then she's just being like don't worry, he's just a childhood friend from ages ago. I don't, I don't talk to him anymore. So let us know in the comments, will you be checking out It Ends With Us movie on August 9th? What do you think of the new pictures? The next thing I wanted to talk about in this video, Amazon is going to be producing a adaptation of Colleen Hoover's Verity. It's about a struggling writer, Lowen Ashley, who lands a dream job ghostwriting for best-selling author Verity Crawford, who is unable to finish her series due to an accident, but as Lowen delves into Verity's work, she uncovers unsettling truths about the Crawford family and begins to question the line between fact and fiction in Verity's writing. I've read the book Verity, Smith, you haven't read the book Verity, but this could definitely be a movie kind of giving the tone of God Girl vibes. Mm-hmm. I think Verity herself, probably a parallel to the main girl in God Girl, just mm, vibes and everything. So I definitely think this could be a hit for Amazon. I mean, it's it's already Colleen Hoover, so she's already got a lot of fans mm-hmm. and a lot of people really like Verity. Yeah, sure. I haven't read the book, but it is on my TBR. We are transforming book club one presentation at a time. We make ready-made creative guides for fun, unforgettable discussions that you can use within your book club. All you have to do is head to our website, browse our collection. Samantha, you've used one of the book club presentation guides. Uh, how was it? It was really great. It was really fun. I think it was really nice to just have a bunch of discussion questions there for us so we didn't uh, our discussion never faulted or had any random pauses and we just tried to think about what to do next because we could just go to the next slide and the next question make sure to check that out in the description below